what do you mean by shortcut to arithmetic so whenever we have very huge numbers we can always make use of the log tables and do all the arithmetical operations whenever we are using the logarithms it should always be the be with the same base if i have to express this in logarithmic form i should write it as log 32 to the base 2 equals 5 Hello everyone. I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce, Vidyashram, First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Welcome you all to the session six, that is Unit One. So in the session six, let us have a discussion on logarithms. Now we have all heard of logarithms in our mathematics. Now let us understand what is the meaning of logarithm. So logarithm means shortcut to arithmetic. shortcut to arithmetic so what do you mean by shortcut to arithmetic so whenever we have very huge numbers we can always make use of the log tables and do all the arithmetical operations now let us understand what do we mean by logarithms so if a is a positive integral number other than 1 and y equals a to the power x then x is called the logarithm of y to the base a and is denoted by x equals log y to the base a now x equals log y to the base a now this x is the power of a now if you want to have the logarithm of y then we should and it is denoted by x equals log y to the base a now suppose i want log 1 to the base a you should understand that log of 1 to any base is always zero then this is the second thing you should remember first thing is x is called the logarithm of y to the base a and it is denoted by x equals log y to the base a then second thing you should remember in logarithm is if a is any non zero real number and a to the power of 0 equals 1 then log 1 to the base a will always be equal to 0 then the third important condition here is if a is any non zero real number and a to the power of 1 equals a then log a to the base a equals 1 that means log of any number to the same base is always equal to 1 suppose i write log 5 to the base 5 it is 1 then log 2 to the base 2 is equal to 1 i can also write log 3 to the base 3 is also equal to 1 so any number to the same base is also equal to 1 log of 1 to any base is always equal to 0 so log of a number if a is a positive real number other than y and y equals a to the power of x then x is called the logarithm of y to the base a and it is denoted by x equals log y to the base a so we should remember that all these three most important conditions in logarithms then next let us look into the laws of logarithms now what does the law of logarithm tell us log of mn to the base a will be equal to log m to the base a and plus log n to the base a so whenever you are given a log of m into n it means that you have to add log m to the base a plus log n to the base a suppose you have log m by n suppose you have to have a division of the numbers so log m by n to the base a will be equal to log m to the base a minus log n to the base a see one thing you should remember whenever we are using the logarithms it should always be the be with the same base just like in the theory of indices whenever the bases are same the powers can be added in the same way in logarithms the logarithm operations can be performed only when the bases are same so log m to the base a 
plus log n to the base a. The similarly, m by n will be log m to the base a minus log n to the base a. So, this is the second law. Now, the third law will be the power of the log. Suppose it is log m to the base a to the power of n. So, m to the power n to the base a, this will be equal to n log m to the base a. So, we should understand that. So, if there is a log of any number which is raised to a power, then that power can be multiplied into the log of that number. So, log m to the power n to the base a will be n log m to the base a. Now, suppose I write log n to the base a. Now, I want a change of base. I have a mathematical problem and I want a change of base. Now, what can I do? So, I can write it as log n to the base b divided by log a to the base b. So, both the log, you can just write it as a fraction that is a numerator and a denominator with a common base. So, we can split a given log as log n by log a. So, log n to the uh, base a can be written as log n to the base b whole over log a to the base b. So, a given log can be split as log n by log a. Now, here we have one more note here. What does it note tells us? So, they have given log a to the base b will be equal to 1 by log b to the base a. So, here if you can see here, log a to the base b can also be written as 1 by log b to the base a. Now, suppose I am given log a to the base b, I can write it as log a by log b. Okay, so uh, log a to the base b can be written as log a by log b. So, these are the various laws of logarithms which we should remember. I am repeating again, log mn to the base a will be equal to log m to the base a plus log n to the base a. Now, in the second law, log m by n to the base a will be log m to the base a minus log n to the base a. Suppose I have a log of a number raised to a power that is log m raised to power n to the base a will be n log m to the base a. Now, next one is the change of base rule. Log n to the base a will be log n by log a. So, you can have a different base here. Now, if I want this, if I want to re rewrite this, I can write it as 1 by log b to the base a, then log a to the base b will be log a by log b. Now, let us go to the next problem here. Express the following in logarithm form. Now, the given 2 to the power 5 equals 32. Now, how do we write it as the logarithm? So, it can be written as log 32 to the base 2 equals 5. So, this is how you will have to write this. Now, the next problem 3 to the power minus 2 equals 1 by 9. Now, how do you write this? So, this can be written as log of 1 by 9 equals So, log 1 by 9 to the base 3 equals minus 2. Now, the next problem here, the problem given is 5 to the power of minus 2 is 0 0.04. Now, we write it in log form as log of 0 0.04 to the base 5 equals minus 2. So, this is how we will be expressing the given in powers as in the logarithmic form. Now, 
the next one in the exponential form. Now, when they have given in the logarithmic form, we have to write it in the exponential form. So, this will be very easy. So, log of 81, log 81 to the base 9 equals 2. So, how do you write this as exponential form? 9 square equals 81. Now, the next problem, log of 0 0.01 to the base 10 equals minus 2. Now, this I can write it as 10 to the power of minus 2 equals 0 0.01. Now, next one, log of 1 by 4 to the base 2 equals minus 2. Now, this I can write it as, so this will be equal to 2 to the power of minus 2 equals 1 by 4. So, this is how we will be expressing it in exponential form. So, now let us solve for x. Now, they have given us this number. So, log of root of 32 to the base 2 equals x. Now, this can be rewritten as log of 32 so, so, square root can be expressed as half to the base 2 equals x or this can be written as, so this 32, I can write it as, 32 can be rewritten as 2 to the power 5. So, if I just remove this log, so this will be equal to 32 to the power half equals 2 to the power x. Now, when I simplify this further, I will get 2 to the power 5 whole to the power half equals 2 to the power x. Now, next step will be, I can write it as 2 to the power of 5 by 2 equals 2 to the power x. Now, when the bases are same, the powers are equal. So, I can equate it as x equals 5 by 2 is the answer. So, when the bases are same, the powers can be equated. As a result, x equals 5 by 2 is the answer. Now, let us see the next problem here. So, log of 10, they have given it as 10 equals 0 0.1 to the power x. So, this can be written as 10 equals, so 0 0.1, so what will I do is, I will write it as 1 by 10. So, why I am writing as 1 by 10? So, if suppose I divide 1 by 10, I get 0 0.1 by 10, so 0. So, this will be equal to 10 equals 1 by 10 whole to the power x. So, this can be further written as 10 equals 1 by 10 can be rewritten as uh, 10 to the power of minus 1 by x. Okay. So, 10 to the power of minus 1 by x equals 10. So, now I will write it as, so 10 to the power 1 equals 1 into minus x equals minus x. So, when the bases are same, the powers are equal. Therefore, 1 equals minus x or x equals minus 1 is the answer. So, whenever you are given log of 10 to the base of 0 0.1 equals x. So, 10 equals 0 0.1 whole to the power x. So, this 0 0.1 I am writing as 1 by 10 because I am having a decimal here. So, 0 0.1. So, what I will do is I am writing it as 1 by 10 whole to the power x. So, 10 will be equal to this 1 by 10 I am expressing it as a negative power. So, minus 10 whole to the power of x. So, 10 to the power of x equals 10 to the power of minus x or x 1 equals minus x or x equals minus 1 is the answer. Now, the next problem given here. So, we have x equals cube root of 5 to the power 6. 
Now we will write it as x equals 5 to the power of 1 by 3 whole to the power 6. Now this will be equal to 5 to the power of 1 by 3 into 6. So 3 twos are 6. So this is 5 square. So x equals 5 square. So this is equal to 5 into 5 is 25. This is the answer. Now the next problem they have given log of 625 equals x to the power 4. Now 625 equals x to the power 4. Now we have to express this 625 as a power. So what I will write is 625 I am factorizing. So 5 ones are, 5 twos are, 5 fives are. Again this is divisible by 5. 5 twos are 10, 5 fives are 25. Again 5 fives are 25. 5 ones are 5. So this 625 I can express it as 5 to the power 4. Now I will write it as 5 to the power 4 equals x to the power 4. So when the powers are same, when the powers are same, bases can be equated. Bases can be equated. So x equals 5 is the answer. So now we have the same power 4 equals 4. So the basis can be equal. So I am writing x equals 5 is the answer. Now let us find out the value of this problem here. Now in this problem they have given log of root of 9 by 4 minus log 3 by 2. So this I can write it as log of root of 9 by 4 that is root 9 by root 4 minus log 3 by 2. So this I can write it as root of 9 is 3 root of 4 is 2. So whenever there is a minus sign I have to write it as ulta. So this I will write it as the reciprocal of this. So this will be equal to log 1 that is equal to 0. So whenever we have an any number which is 1, so log of 1 is always 0. Then the next problem prove that log of 7 by 8 plus log of 32 by 49 minus log of 4 by 14 equals log 2. So this I will write it as log of 7 by 8 so since I have a plus sign here, I will multiply here into 32 by 49. Then there is a minus sign here. So when I have a minus sign, I will have to write the reciprocal of the given number. So I will write it as 14 by 4. So this, when I simplify this number, so I get 8 4s are 32, 7 7s are 49, 7 2s are 14. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled, only 2 is remaining in the bracket. So I am getting the answer as log 2. So log 2 is the answer. Now the next problem, we are asked to prove that 2 log 3 by 5 plus 3 log 5 by 2 minus log 45 by 8 equals 0. Now this I will rewrite it as log 3 by 5 the whole square plus log 5 by 2 the whole cube minus log 45 by 8. Now this I will rewrite it as log of 3 square is 9 by 25 plus log of 125 by 8 minus log of 45 by 45 by 8. Now the next step will be you take the log outside 9 by 25 into 125 by 8 into 8 by 
45. Now you simplify this. So 25 ones are 25, fives are 125. Then 8 and 8 gets cancelled. 9 fives are 45. So 5 and 5 gets cancelled. So this will be equal to log 1 which is equal to 0. So this is the problem. Now if you can see this problem here, prove that 2 log 3 by 5 plus 3 log 5 by 2 minus log 45 by 8 equals 0. So what I will write, so this 2 it is, it should, this number, the log of this number should be raised to the power 2. So I am writing 3 by 5 whole to the power 2 plus 5 by 2 whole to the power 3 minus log of 45 by 8. So when I square the number, I will get 3 square that is 9, 5 square is 25 plus log of, this is 5 cubes, so 5 into 5 into 5, 5 5 is 25, 25 into 5 is 125, so 125 and 2 cubes, so 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 125 by 8 minus log 45 by 8. Now in the next step, I am simplifying this, so 9 by 25 into 125 by 8 into 8 by 45. So when I simplify all this, I get log 1 which is equal to 0. Now the next problem here. So what is the next problem given here? Prove that log 12 by 15 plus 2 log 6 by 8 plus 1 by 3 log 8 by 27 equals log 3 by 10. Now this can be rewritten as log of 12 by 15 plus 2 log 6 by 8. So this will be equal to log of 6 by 8 the whole square plus log of 8 by 27 to the power of 1 by 3. Now I will simplify this. I will get log of 12 by 15 plus log of 6 square is 36, 8 eights are 64. So 6 square is 36, 8 square is 64 plus log of 8 to the power of 1 by 3. So this I will rewrite it as cube root of 8 by cube root of 27. So in the next step, I will write it further. So log of 12 by 15 remains the same plus log of 36 by 64 plus cube root of 8 is log of 2 by cube root of 27 is 3. How I got 2? I will write simplify here. 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2. Now this 27, 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9, 3 1s are 3. So I am getting 2 by 3. So now when I simplify this further, I will get log of 12 by 15 into 36 by 64 into 2 by 3. Now I will simplify this further. So I will get uh, 3 12s are 36. Then I will simplify this. So I will get 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. Then when I simplify this further, I will get it as 2 3s are 2 2s are. So when I simplify this further, so I will get here log of 12 4s are 48 divided by 32 into 5. So 32 into 5 will be 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15, 160. So 160. So this I will simplify it as so this is divisible by 16. So this will be 16 threes are 48, 16 tens are 160, which is the answer. So prove that 12 by 15, log of 12 by 15 plus 2 log 6 by 8 plus 1 by 3 log 8 by 27 equals log of 3 by 10. So I'll take it as log 12 by 15 plus log of 
6 by 8 the whole square plus log of 8 by 27 to the power of 1 by 3. So, whenever the log is expressed as 1 by 3, it means the root of that number. So, log of 12 by 15 plus this I have raised it to the power 2. So, 6 is 36 by 64 plus log of cube root of 8 by cube root of 27. So, log 15 plus log 36 by 64 plus log 2 by 3. So, when I simplify all this, I am getting log of 48 by 160, that is log of 3 by 10. Now, the next problem given. So, this is root of log A by B plus log of root B C plus log of root C A. So, this will be written as log of Now, here we have this equation here. Now, this I can write it as half of log A by B plus half of log B by C plus half of log C by A. Now, this will be, this half is common for all. So, I will write it outside half of log a by b into b by c into c by a. So, this will be equal to b and b gets cancelled, c and c gets cancelled, a and a. So, this will be half of log 1 that is equal to 0. So, this is the answer. So, you are proved that log root of a by b plus log root b by c plus log root c by a equals 0. So, you will raise it to the power half all the values. Then you bring it this side. So, when you bring it this side, this will be half of log a by b into b by c into c by a. So, everything gets cancelled. So, log 1 that is equal to 0. So, hope you have understood this session on logarithms. Thank you.